Gentlemen. Swan song, how you living? Yes. Why aren't you holding the snake juice? I'm more of a whiskey man. Ron, Ron, come here. Come here for a bit. You're good right there. Listen, you gotta jump on the Tommy Town Express. This guy has some of the best investment ideas I've ever heard in my life. Make a baby tuxedo clothing line. A department store with a guest list. White fur earmuffs for men. Contact lenses that display text messages. Invent a phone that smells good. Own a nightclub called Eclipse that's only open for one hour, two times a year. Cover charge, $5,000. I can keep going. Oh my God, did you put glitter in the laundry detergent? Oh yeah, I'm experimenting with some new entrepreneurial ideas. That one's called Sparkle Suds. Dress loud. God, will you stop putting glitter in everything? This morning you put glitter in the butter. Disco dairy. Spread the party. No, that's not a good idea. That's terrible. Well, the target demographic isn't angry middle-aged nurses. Ms. Wicks, if you've read our proposal, you'll see that an alliance between rent -a swag and Sweetums could be mutually beneficial. Well, I must say, it's a much better idea than the last one you had, that gourmet French food thing. Oh, my escargot delivery service, snail mail. So, you want to partner up and make history? If you let Newport have the vans, they just sit there in a lot. If you let us have the vans, they drive around town all day. Free publicity. Everyone will see your logo which is you all pressed up on some chick with huge cans. Yeah, it was a hell of a day. People need to know about it. And I don't need free publicity. I can just pay for it with my $10,000. Look, I ain't gonna try to play a player. You trying to get buku bucks just like the rest of us. So how about this? I have a business idea for a gourmet alcoholic yogurt. I call it Yogurt Platinum. I'll let you in on the ground floor. And let me tell you, it's gonna be worth way more than 10 grand. Yeah, but now that I know your bad idea, I can start the company myself with my $10,000. No, you can't do that, Ron! Tom, Donna, could you please give us a moment? I'd like to talk to Bill man to man. He's gonna steal yogurt platinum. No, I'm not. Okay, Tom, I want you to take Ben and make him go to that antihistamine party. It's allergic, and forget it. He doesn't know anybody in town. Come on, Tom, take him under your tiny little wing. He's a fully grown man, Leslie. And tonight's just not about pleasure. I'm smooching Dennis Feinstein, so I can pitch him my new cologne, Tommy Frisch. Okay, well, while you're doing that, I want you to picture Ben in his motel room all by himself with no friends staring at the wall. Deal. Tom. <sighs> so what's your plan? Wait till he's alone, then I walk up and Spray him with Tommy Fresh. And I say, uh-oh, looks like you just inhaled your future. Yeah, that might actually work. OK, how about this one? LASIK for fingernails. You cut your fingernails once, you never have to cut them again. All we need is a complicated laser I have no idea how to build. Seems impossible. All right. Uh-oh, saltines. Saltines for tweens. Seems unnecessary. This is actually a crazy coincidence. I have a new company and could use your help on the math side of things. Oh, what's a new company? We specialize in making stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks. Right, pass. I'm kidding, it's a real idea. So get this, kids are always growing out of their clothes so their parents don't wanna buy them nice things. I'm gonna rent my upscale clothing to middle school kids because I discovered I'm roughly the same size as the average Pawnee 12 year old. It's actually a really great idea. I know. Can you take a look at the business plan? Tell me what you think. Sure, why not? Awesome. I wanna open up my own club one day. Maybe call it something like Club A Dub Dub or The Club Marine. Sort of a submarine themed club. Or Tom's Bistro. The word bistro is classy as. Shit. Tom, man, we are looking for a few uh, top quality guys like yourself become part owners. A guy like you with your political connections, I think you'd make a great asset. Psh. I agree. That's why I got into public service, to help me. All right, $10,000 a share, even money by Friday. $10,000, it's chump change. I will see you Friday with $10,000. All right, partner. No one else brought me any good business ideas, so I decided to take care of it myself. Talking tissue. Anytime you pull one out, you get a little message to hype you up. Blow that nose, player. No. <sighs> this stinks. I'm just gonna have to go back to my same job that I've had forever. Here's a sitch. I developed a dope new game show where I ask couples scandalous questions and they have to guess what the other one answered. I call this Know Ya Boo. Ah, oh, that sounds like the newlywed game. Shut up, Jerry. It's not the newlywed game, okay? What do Jay-Z, Lil Wayne, and Drake all have in common? 
Oh, I know this one. They're all rapists. Oh my God, they're rappers, Jerry. What they have in common is none of them have ever performed in Pawnee. Why? Because we don't have an adequate concert venue until now. The Pawnee Amphitheater. How much would that cost? Not that much, 200, 300 million. Right, great. I need you guys to come to the Snake Hole Lounge tonight to help me with something. Yeah, no, tonight's not uh, good. No can do. I'm on a cleanse. Please, this is important. I'm launching my new high-end Kahlua-style liqueur, snake juice. Sounds like you took a snake and twisted it like a rag until its blood and guts came out. <laughs> Ew. What does Kahlua-style mean? I mix a bunch of alcohol together, added some sugar and coffee, and some other junk, and it kind of tastes like Kahlua. I can only drink warm tap water with cayenne pepper. Fine, then don't drink it. Just get other people to drink it, okay? Meeting in one hour. If you don't make it, you're on my dunzo list. Tom, I just want to say that you are a wonderful employee and a terrific human being. Meeting adjourned. <laughs> Tom, I enjoy you. You know what else I enjoy? Your entrepreneurial spirit. I did recently sell my Chronicles of Riddick DVD on eBay for $10. Use the profits to buy the Blu-ray. So? What's Leslie up to? Well, I don't think I should discuss that, given that you're in competition. Need to remain neutral. Fair enough. Terry, what's Leslie up to? She is trying to find the historical reason to earmark the land for preservation. Terry, come on, man. Leslie, you little sneak. If Leslie's going for a hook, we should too. Let's get Annabelle Bloosh person. Yes. Glad to see you finally come around after these two minutes of insanity. Now, will you please consider investing in that toddler cologne I've been bugging you about? Toddler cologne, baby. Tch -tch. You smell good. This is it for certain, okay? I create a game show. Two people on stage, right? They flip a coin. One of them has to perform open heart surgery. The other one has to receive open heart surgery. We call it open heart surgery. How about this? You buy a Gulfstream G4 jet. Already interested. Take the wheels off. Get them off of there. Turn the jet into an apartment building. People could live inside their own private jet. We're currently coming up with business ideas for John Ralphio, because as of today, his bank account is blowing up. I made my money the old-fashioned way. I got run over by a Lexus. I still can't believe you won all that money in the lawsuit. You barely got hurt at all. Do you want to get run over? Because I know a guy. Super gentle, minor scrapes and bruises, major dollars and cents. I got it. Yeah. What are you amazing at? I know it. We both know it. Let's just say it at the same time. Creating Great spectacles. spectacles. No, I got it. You create Pawnee's first and only high-end all-media entertainment conglomerate. Absolutely. That's absolutely what I have to do. What does it mean? It means audio, video, movies, yeah. 3D movies, nightclubs, iPhone apps. If it's entertainment, you're involved. Yes, of course I am. And you call it Entertainment 720. No! Why? Why? You gotta stop screaming. I will, I just get excited. Why do we call it Entertainment 720? Because you're willing to go around the world twice for your clients. Yeah, I think we can do that for a million. Okay, we'll talk soon. There was no one on the other end of that phone call, but soon there will be. Welcome to the Dreamatorium, AKA the headquarters of Entertainment 720. We got a pool table, a ping pong table, a couch with a ceiling on it, in-house DJ, DJ Blunt. And best of all, former NBA superstar Detlef Shrimp is on retainer. What's up, Detlef? So, Tom, what does this business do again? It's a multimedia entertainment production conglomerate. Well, I don't know, man. You have a lot of overhead here. Ever thought about scaling back a bit and focusing on building your client base? <laughs> Thanks a lot, Forbes magazine, but we didn't hire you to give us business advice. We hired you to look pretty and shoot baskets. So why don't you head over there and do your thing? We want people to see you when they come in, Detlef. Big D, hit me! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Come on. We're living the dream. Mitch, thanks for meeting me. My pleasure. It's not often that I see someone with your sparkle and passion. That's what makes businesses work. Passion. So, Mr. Haverford, let's get to it. What idea are you passionate about? I've got two words for you. Tom's Bistro. An old-fashioned, old-world Italian restaurant. Classy, authentic ambiance in a small-town setting. Why does that say Dry Cleaning Chemical Transactional Holding Company? Ben, you brought the wrong easel. God, can't take this guy anywhere. Let me paint you a picture. <laughs>